Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Romancing the Stone. What do you know about this movie? This one, our rom-con, com. <laughs> rom-con, that should be a genre. <laughs> rom-com Patreon poll. So we'd like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our rom-com Patreon poll. And then I believe it's Michael Douglas. And I've seen comments that the lead actress is Kathleen Turner. So I looked to see if I'd seen anything she'd been on before and I have not. Okay, the name doesn't sound familiar. Maybe once I see her, something will spark or we'll check it out after the movie. Don't want to spoil anything by like looking up her name or something, but I'm super excited for this movie. I've said it in previous reactions or maybe on the Q and A or it's been somewhere, but I'm mostly Colombian. And I know this movie takes place in Colombia, I believe. Oh, okay. So that's the only thing I really know uh, other than Michael Douglas and the other person. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like an adventure rom-com type flick. Yeah, because technically it probably would have won our adventure poll, but it was just on our rom-com poll. So I do think it's a, an adventure through Colombia, maybe. I don't know if that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, we got to see Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure winning our adventure poll. Yeah. So I'm really excited to watch this. We've had this recommended almost, I think, since we started the channel. Yeah, it's, it's highly recommended. We haven't really done like a rom-com. I would say like the most romantic movie would maybe be like Dirty Dancing. Yeah, or maybe like Princess Bride. That's true, but that got taken down. Oh. I think. I'm pretty sure Princess Bride got taken down by YouTube. Oh. But right. I, actually, Dirty Dancing might have also gotten taken down. So we're not on a good street with rom-coms. <laughs> so hopefully this stays on the channel, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. I think this is 80s, so I wonder what type of... Uh... Oh, a Michael Douglas production? I didn't know he produced stuff. It said, oh, Robert, Robert Zemeckis. Zemeckis. I didn't know. Whoa, okay. I didn't know Robert Zemeckis made this. I was just going to say, I wonder what type of PG-13 this is, because I think this is 80s. Maybe there'll be some hardcore nudity. That's it gonna be, Angelina. Is this a movie within the movie, or is this real? I told him to get out. Now that he had what he came for. Not quite, Angel. Take him off. Okay, so my hardcore nudity comment actually is coming true. <laughs> it's got a knife, maybe? Oh! Quick with that knife. That was the end of Grogan, the man who killed my father and murdered my sister. Jeez. Shot my dog and stole my Bible. Jeez! But if there was one law of the West, bastards had brothers. Uh-oh, more of them. But suddenly there he was. My beloved Jesse. All right, Jesse. Damn, three shots, three kills. My heart leapt as I watched him ride near. Is this like a book that the narrator is reading? I don't know. I didn't realize this was going to be a Western. It can't be. I heard it was in Colombia. At the moment his lips met mine, I knew that we would never again be apart. We haven't even seen these people's faces yet. Like a good look at them. Yeah. We would spend the rest of our lives together. Forever. It was a book. Oh God, that's good. <laughs> so we got an author. Writer of the year. I finished, sweetheart. Oh, is that your sweetheart? So this must be Kathleen Turner. I think so. I feel like she looks familiar, but older. So like I've seen her when she's older. Okay. Danny DeVito? No way! 10 out of 10 movie. <laughs> I spare no expense when I celebrate. This is uh, kind of sad. Yeah, she's like alone. There was, It looked like there was a wedding photo though on the mantle. Yeah, I assume maybe didn't end well. It seems like she's uh, very consumed by her work. Yeah. She looked extremely successful. Maybe that was her sister and her sister's husband? Maybe, yeah. Because there was a photo with her and another girl, right? Hello? Oh, a mystery payphone call? The mailman couldn't fit this into your box, so I told him I'd give it to you. That's some love letter. But I keep hoping for you, pumpkin. 
No, I'll no. give you for ten dollars. Really great deal. Your boyfriend will love it. It's kind of kinky, you know what I mean? What? Nine dollars. Eight dollars. Oh, here's the person who's making the call, right? Hey, that's Miss Wilder's apartment. Oh. Jeez. I thought this was a romance movie. <laughs> that guy just got stabbed in the gut. Loser. Major loser. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Too angry. Too vague. Who's that? Is that the two and a half men, Mom? Yeah. No, what about him? He's just <laughs> Who? Jesse? Yeah, he's not Jesse. I know how hard you've been working. I know you're upset about your sister. Okay. I spoke to her last week. She's still in Colombia. Oh. Found her husband's body yet? Oh. Just the one piece. Jeez. I got this package from Eduardo from Colombia. Mm -hmm. Must have been mailed just before he... Oh shit, that guy must have been coming for the package. It's, it's tracking pretty accurate for Colombia so far. <laughs> Murder, pieces of bodies. This music is intense. Is this Elaine? I think so. Well, I think you're okay because I think the pack or the murderer is in New York. Damn, what a ride. Yeah, not really. Yeah, that's like screams, take me. Yeah. Oh, kid assassin. What? Gotta watch out on the streets of Columbia. <laughs> She's gonna drop her in with these crocodiles? I don't Alligators? know. We'll never know. <laughs> Elaine, what'd you get yourself into? This has to be Danny. This kidnapping stuff makes me real nervous. Oh. We've stolen enough of these antique trinkets. Let's kiss off this third world toilet. Oh, so what she send in the package must be super valuable. Oh. Looking for that package. This is like uh, three men and a baby all over again. <laughs> leave if I walked in and saw that. Yeah? Oh, but her cat, Romeo. <laughs> Romeo, god damn it! <laughs> I'm in trouble. This is some kind of treasure map inside. Oh. Bring that map to me in Colombia. Get to the Hotel Cartagena. I can't go to Colombia. Why not? Okay, we have our adventure. Where's the romance? Why are you doing this? You cannot go. You get bus sick, seasick, plane sick. Jeez. I like the publisher. I do. But she has to save her sister. Uh-oh. She's already being tracked. This guy's music is so intense. Hola, como estas? <laughs> Donde esta el baño? Okay, that's a little over exaggeration. Yeah, I was like, this is not what it was like when we went. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is Colombia back in the day, but. The Ario Arrivo Aquino. <laughs> oh, they just walked right past each other. Este el autobús. Uh, Cartagena. Oh, is this the guy? Yeah. This was going to Cartagena. Yes. No. Oh. So, but I'm guessing he's not with Danny DeVito then? Probably not. Oh. Hey, you're on the wrong bus! <laughs> oh, wow. She's going deep. Not Cartagena. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell am I? Well, she hasn't gotten sick yet. It's true. Maybe she's a little suspicious of that guy now, hopefully. Excuse me. Oh! Uh, Fucking pig. I'm really sorry. Estupida. <laughs> Ma'am, you can't get off here. Uh, is this the bus to Cartagena? <laughs> oh! Shouldn't have distracted the driver. Was that car just parked there or was someone driving it? No, it was just there. What are we gonna do now? Gotta help clean up. 
Uh oh, just these two. You don't have to walk. Another bus will come along. Nah, I don't trust you. There's casuals to be maintained, even in Colombia. <laughs> okay. Is this guy gonna end up being her love interest? It's probably Michael Douglas, right? This guy, he, he already killed someone. <laughs> I mean, but maybe he thought it was for her own good. <laughs> own protection? <laughs> Evil janitor. <laughs> he did get her on the wrong bus, but that kind of protected her. From Danny DeVito. Not for her sister, but... Right. Girl, you are way too trusting. Yeah, now that everyone's gone. She's gonna steal her bag. Oh, there we go. I was like, what's taking what? him so long? That pairs. <gasps> Jesse. <gasps> oh, no way. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Damn. What an introduction to Columbia. Like, we still haven't seen his face. No, this is her Jesse. Jeez, this guy's ruthless. Oh, let him get away. What the hell? <laughs> this must have been his car. Oh. Well, you left in the middle of the road. <laughs> I like how everyone also stole all the birds. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck, uh, let's just take them. Uh-oh, these two. These two are after the same thing and don't even know it. But he's a cop? He could be, but dirty cop. Don't I know you? Now come brand out. You are American. Americanos, uh, I'll spit on him, I tear. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to wait just a little longer. Is he trying to sell those birds? Buy a boat? Can you tell me where the nearest town is? How about Miami? Cartagena's over there on the coast. Oh, but they told me this bus. What else did he tell you? <laughs> that another bus would be coming. <laughs> oh, sounds like rain. I'll pay you. But it's a matter of life and death. If I don't get to How my How much? Fifty dollars? Fifty dollars? You said you just lost everything you owned. Not my sense of humor. <laughs> two hundred dollars. I'll do it. For two hundred bucks? What a deal. 375 in traveler's checks? American Express? Of course. Not a deal. <laughs> I'm like, she's a best-selling author, award-winning. She's got to have money, but maybe she just didn't bring it with her. I don't know. Oh, wow. And he'll carry... Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. How romantic. Señor Solo. Reúne a tus hombres. Sí, señor. We might need to ditch this luggage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just take the purse. This is like us in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Going up so many stairs. The cobblestone with rolling luggage. You got any valuables in that suitcase? All my clothes and things. Uh, you got a good pair of walking shoes? They're all like these. <laughs> Just gonna throw it. I think so. There you go, save you the trouble. You Jeez! Damn, they're going far. Well, the corrupt cop isn't gonna find them. Not down here. <laughs> what a landing spot. <laughs> John Wilder, welcome to Columbia. <laughs> oh, hi, Ma. It's me, Irving. Guess who else is here? Zolo. Zolo. Oh, no. Oh, dude. Don't yell at me. Look, you want to kill me? <laughs> Grab it. <laughs> Little sister took the wrong road. He's tagging along. Man who killed my husband? Oh, so these guys didn't do it. And whether he calls himself Dr. Zolo, deputy commander of the secret police. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> oh he took some of those? Snappers. Well, those are way tiny. I have a feeling this guy's gonna die to some snappers. He's way too obsessed. So we have a very powerful, very corrupt guy as the third party. Some flat shoes, maybe? It's not how that works. In the movies. 
He's nothing that I own sacred to you. Only your three hundred and seventy-five dollars. <laughs> Such a small amount. Ooh. Pops. Wow, they found them that quickly. Yeah, I guess so. Wait a minute. He's after you. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? My sister's life depends oh, on me. I thought you were donating a kidney or something. <laughs> what? Deal's off, lady. Lady, you are bad news. Yeah, stop like, following so me. Lonely. Wake up this morning and say. Hey, I'm gonna ruin a man's life. <laughs> ah! There's a bridge, right? Yeah, they got to something. What about the bridge? This goddamn pre-Columbian arc. You can't get across that. You're running out of options. You can swing or you can take the bridge. I know I should listen to my mother. <laughs> oh, she's going for it. That is very high. I feel like I honestly would just run. Yeah, I would not take across. this slow. Yeah, that's far. Yeah, I would keep holding on to vines. Have a good grip. <laughs> that worked. He's just swinging all the way. Oh! All right, we're we're across. Machete's coming in handy though. Oh yeah, jungle's so thick. Are we stopping? He's tired from hacking. Be my guest. They need to uh, take a look at this map. I wonder if they're like in the middle of it. <laughs> there you go. Plane crash? Yeah, it must have been a drug smuggling plane. Shelter. With bodies. <laughs> you just take those out real quick. What is all this? About five to life in the States. <laughs> the centuries down here. <laughs> oh, you smoke it. I went to college. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Okay. Oh. I was gonna say, is there some food? What a great first date. You gonna tell me about that, uh, that sister of yours? I already did. Not quite. Yeah, you haven't said anything. Her husband died, and I've come down here to comfort her. That's why you're getting chased. This guy has saved your life. You might as well tell him the truth. Oh. Oh, he saw the map? <sighs> you're burning this for five. <laughs> How high are you going to be? Yeah, that's what I call a catfight. <laughs> Hotboxing a downed airplane? This map here leads to the heart, but the heart of what? I don't care. She just wants her sister back. Yeah. Poor zone is hidden in Cordoba province, so we're sitting right in the middle of it. Oh, that's convenient. Whatever's at the end of this map is your sister's life. Pretty true. Then you got something to bargain with. That's true, that gives them way more leverage. All you care about is yourself, isn't it? You're a Mondo Dismo. What? You're a man who takes money from stranded women. Would you please do me the courtesy of looking at me when I'm speaking to you? What is he looking at? Ooh. Ooh. You... Dinner. Damn. It's a big snake. Woo. Is it uh, poisonous? Yeah, but very tasty. Cook it over their weed fire. Right? Oh, damn. Is this his uh, private army? Uniforme. So they're not still in the forest. Jungle. The other guys? Zolo. Zolo, right. Shit, I figure I lost close to 15,000 bucks in that bus crash. Whoa. Damn. I don't even know your name. I'd really like to Colton. know. Colton. Jack T. Colton. Colton. Birds just seem to be a fast way to get what I wanted. And a hell of a lot healthier than dealing in this crap. It's true. Birds are probably safer than drugs. Came down here on a coffee boat about a year and a half ago. I love the ocean. All by yourself. Seems like her apartment. Sounds lonely, Jack T. Colton. What does a T stand for? Trustworthy. <laughs> Jack, trustworthy Colton. 
Man, they must be so high and drunk. One hell of a morning. It's turned into a bitch of a day. Face. <laughs> Face first. I'd be Ten afraid. Or Del Diablo. The Devil's Fork. He's got this map too close to the fire. At least the police let him go. Yeah, didn't quite recognize him. Ooh, they made it out of the thick of the jungle. Drug runners. Just try to look mean. <laughs> look mean? Oh, shit. What's the matter? Nothing. Yeah, keep walking. In the crowd. We are in need of a car. Only one car in village. Thank you. That worked? You hold back. This one. I'll handle she did pretty good with uh, yeah. guys. Yeah. Ah, uh, senor, buenos dias. Uh, necesitamos su ayuno What pa... do you want, gringo? <laughs> we understand that you have a car. We have to get to a town. What do you call this I'm living in? A pigsty? To a different town. Yeah. You don't understand, it. Uh... Hit the road. Okay. I understand now. Oh, uh -oh no. Okay, Joan Wilder, write us out of this one. Joan Wilder? Are they fans? Vision Wilder? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? This is Juanita Wilder, la que escribe las novelas que le leo los sábados. Juanita. <laughs> I read to you. Come in. Adios, Come in. amiga. <laughs> They're so happy and friendly. Welcome to my humble house. Ooh, what a place. Wilder. This is gorgeous. I'm, I'm Juan. I live here. Que paso? <laughs> the greatest novelist. Get the door, <laughs> well, at least they're in his house. Right, a little bit of protection. Zolo. <laughs> Trusty little knife. Buenos dias. She does not care. Americanos! No. Aww. Come in. Make yourself at home. Is that her books? Oh, yeah. No, I have read that one either. Really? Take it. Many copies. Many copies. I want to show you all around my beautiful village. But have a drink. Let's hang out. <laughs> Let's hang out. Uh oh, they're here. Where is the nearest phone? Can we get there in your car? They told you I had a car. They made my little mule. <laughs> they have a mule? <laughs> oh, shit. That's your mule? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, watch out, pig! What are we stopping for? I can't hurt my favorite pig! Going back the way they came? Can't run over the pigs! <laughs> See over there by the fence? That's where my mother was born! <laughs> it's very exciting to show Joan around. Oh yeah! While being shot at. That's crazier than I am. <laughs> I love his big smile. It literally says little mule on the side. What the hell are you doing? That field was covered. I wanted to show you this other field. <laughs> this guy who's following you, he's very persistent. He's so unfazed. He's having the time of his life with his favorite author. Oh. See that river? What, the one without the bridge? Oh, jump it. Where the hell are you going? Oh. Oh, there is a bridge. Oh, uh, that's a ram. <laughs> oh. All right, they got away. Whatever happened to Lupe? Terrible disappointment to family. I took over the business. It's for the best. I'm not so reckless. <laughs> oh, the Devil's Fork. Okay. Yeah, let's hit it. We're on a roll. I cannot take you all the way to Cartagena. In this town, I am a wanted man. I like how he's the non-reckless brother. I have been through every one horse shithole for a 200 mile radius. Oh, oh they're literally pulling up. And one more thing, Ira. John. I found him. She's right here. She's with some guy. How do I know? Oh. She likes guys. <laughs> Yeah, all the rooms have baths. They speak English too. <laughs> Everyone speaks English. Listen, you wouldn't uh, have a Xerox machine around here, would you? Map size? Yeah, complete. There you go. He just wants that copy of that map. 
I talked to Elaine. She's all right. They're going to wait for me to take the bus in the morning. I guess this is it. How's he going to get it? 375. That was the contract, right? Yeah. That was it. He's like, I'll take a copy of the map instead. Yeah, right? At least I can do buy some dinner. Right? I like that. That's cute. Oh man, he's stylish too. I definitely thought he was gonna make a copy of the map while she was in the shower. He probably already did. Oh, you think? I feel like he would've just ditched her. He could still have dinner. I got you something. El Corazon? Oh. I feel bad for her. I know, she's just getting played. The map is coming to you. Why are you trying to steal it? Come faster. Let's dance. Oh no, I, I can't. Come on. Let me show you. Oh man, that purse is gonna be unattended. <laughs> I, I can't do that. Oh, I lost my langostino. <laughs> oh man. Crawled under the wrong table. Now they're getting into it. Oh jeez. So are they. Oh, she's going after everyone. If I had the money, I'd take you. Just the two of us. That escalated. <laughs> I promise you we do that. Do you think he's actually gonna ask for a copy of the map? Versus I, just stealing it? I feel like he already stole it. I saw that tree today, the Devil's Fork. You know how close we are? Get that treasure, and then you can waltz into Cartagena, you're holding all the cards. But did he already Xerox a copy? But Jack, if we have to give it up. Yeah, of course we give it up, but that's the point. At least we got the leverage to do it. I don't know about this. I don't trust you, Jack. His middle name is Trustworthy. Or it's Traitor. <laughs> traitor. Oh, he did. He did steal it from her and then he's like, all right, I'll give it back. No, I'm assuming he already made a copy. That was just him putting it back. Yeah, but if that comes out, she's going to be pretty upset. Also, that would have been funny, though, if it wasn't in her bag and Danny DeVito went to steal, steal the bag. It. He's in the. Hot wire in the car. Oh, it's his car. Yeah. The key. Oh, that works. There it is. That's the shrine. Yeah. This guy lucked out. Inadvertently getting the treasure too. Everyone's going. This can't be all. There's got to be another clue here. Hey, you hear that? River. Waterfall. Oh, you gotta make a heart. Massive waterfall. Yeah, that's insane. You all right? A heart? Yeah. Oh, it does look like a heart. What does leche de la madre mean? Milk of the mother? It means mother's milk. That was close. That <laughs> was just reverse. Yeah, they don't even know what they're looking for. Oh. Oh, there's mother's milk. Danny DeVito's still in the car, right? I think so. Unless he got out to follow him, but he should just wait in the car. It's the best time I've ever had. Anybody's best time before. Oh, what'd you hit? The price of statue. The bunny? It's gotta be inside of that, right? In my first book, I hid the treasure inside the statue. <laughs> In my first book. <laughs> oh. Ah, the stone. It is called Romancing the Stone. Probably should have put that together. Holy cow! It's huge! Jesus Christ, we're in a lot of trouble. Understatement of the year, asshole. Is there anybody who isn't following you? <laughs> now move it before Batman comes home. <laughs> it's funny because he's the penguin. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I'm the creep, huh? Well, at least I'm honest. I'm not trying to romance it out from under her. Oh no. Holy shit! <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> What are you shooting at, Danny? You're just gonna hit him? Uh-oh. Who's this? There you go, get in! <laughs> Such a mess. Ooh. Okay, car's done. Oh, it's that boat now. <laughs> Is the stone still in the bag? Where are you going? I hope so. <laughs> what are you steering for? Let's hope this doesn't get any deeper. Well, oh, do you lose the bat? Yeah, if you drop the stone in here, it's gone. You okay? I'm fine. Only you're on that side. You did this on purpose. What the hell are you 
Danny DeVito knows about it. I'll meet you there. Trust me. Jeez. You can trust him. <laughs> hey, Hotel Cartagena. Got the map? Yes, I brought it. <laughs> she looks rough. See the fort across the bay? You meet me there in two hours. Two hours? Just do it now. <laughs> You're literally right there. Guess she can maybe take a shower? Has Jack Colton checked in? Well, it's been a couple of hours, that's for sure. Yeah, it's like dark now. I wonder if Danny DeVito's been able to tell him that they have the stone. Right, the map is useless now. Over here. Let me see the map. Where are you? Yeah, where are you? Joni? If you pull oh. the fast one. What a villain move. Put one of those in your eye. Joan Wilder. And your sister can go. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. Get out of there before they hear from Danny DeVito. Right. Oh. Is that Zolo? Oh. Did he shoot? Oh, fuck. Bring Zolo. Sword, you let him follow you here. This map is nothing. They already have the stone. <laughs> These hands. Just kidding. Later. <laughs> Later. What is it? I, I don't know. Yeah, she doesn't have it. Dragonla. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think they need a taste. I think they'll eat just fine. Look at those snappers. <laughs> he loves them. I've got it. It's in a safe place. Where is it? It's in his crotch. I was like, that's not the noise that should make. <laughs> Good thing he had it there. Choke on it. Oh! Thank you. Yes! Oh, oh damn. damn! That's graphic. Oh, he dropped a knife. Stab him! Wood? Oh, with some nails in it? Yeah, what is your plan here? They sh she should have stabbed him when she had the chance right there. Get that crocodile alligator. Crocodile. <laughs> Snapper. Look at those snappers. No way! The... I'll send the boat back for you, Ralph! When? Soon! <laughs> you just <laughs> left him? Yeah, what a shitty cousin. Uh oh. No. Come back here. What is your plan here? <laughs> He's gonna fight this thing. He only has one hand. Hit him with the lantern. You still have the knife? Yeah, she has to. Come on, Joan. Think in the book. Oh, just like the novel. But he blocked it. <laughs> okay, thanks, sis. Oh. oh, he has to make a choice. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh more snappers. You have to be so much faster. <laughs> no, that's so much progress. Oh! Oh, it is stump. <laughs> yes, the lantern. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! What a comical death. <laughs> Get to the American Council. Just, just tell him everything. Don't mention my name. It's been a pleasure. You're leaving? Oh, 
Oh, damn. Another concussion. You're going to be all right. I mean, she defeated the bad guy all by herself. One-handed bad guy. He lost the jewel for nothing. Yeah, he could have just held on to that crocodile. <laughs> that was not very smooth. Jack Colton! This is a terrible rom-com. <laughs> <laughs> she loved it. But is this a new book based on her adventures? I don't I can't know. Believe how fast you cracked this out. Yeah, new book. I love the end where he dives off the high wall and swims away, and then he meets her at the airport. Oh, that part didn't happen. You are now a world class hopeless romantic. Hopeful romantic. Oh, she still has a necklace too. Damn it, Jack! So many toys, bras. Oh, is that in the middle of the street? <laughs> They deliver boats like that in New York? Hey! Hey, it's Jack! He found that crocodile then. <laughs> he made shoes out of it! <laughs> <laughs> he fucked that thing up. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about you. I even read one of your books. Then you know how they all end. Yay! Got the boat and the girl. Like that, they're off. All right, that was Romancing the Stone. What'd you think? That was great. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Definitely much more adventure-y than rom com -y. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, way more adventure. But there were still the rom-com elements to it. It was just set in the Colombian jungle adventure. Yeah, <laughs> you had some like similar tropes yeah. of like, you know, not, it's not like bad boy and like, good girl or something like that. It's more just like the two that you wouldn't expect to be together. And, you know, they described her as like afraid of everything and throws up and all that stuff. Now she's totally out of her element and the whole idea of like the betrayal kind of at the last minute. Yeah. The choice between the stone and her and stuff like you had some like traditional rom-com stuff, but it was way more of an adventure movie and it was an excellent adventure. There was a ton of the comedy elements as well, which was great. The plane with the, all the <laughs> oh, marijuana. The, yeah. Obviously the very end there with the crocodile boots. Yeah, the, the crocodile boots. Uh, Danny DeVito had a lot of hilarious moments Danny DeVito's stuff. always fantastic. <laughs> It was fun to see so many different people going on this like little treasure hunt. It also wasn't really a treasure hunt until like almost towards the end. It was more about just like running away from this corrupt whatever person. It was definitely like an escape chase. It was more like a, an extended chase scene movie. Yes. So they were just making it through. Obviously, right from the get go, she is in trouble, even in New York. Yeah. You had like Zolo and then you had Ralph, who was Danny DeVito and Juan, I think. Oh no, he was in the village. Yeah, I think he the was fan. the fan. Yeah, he was the fan, the drug dealing fan. I forgot that even happened. That <laughs> actually was like one of my favorite parts. That of the was movie. absolutely my favorite part. That guy, he had such a big smile yeah. throughout the entire like chase scene. And he's like, don't worry, my card's flame proof. And here's my like pop up bridge. And so he was excellent. No, he was awesome. And I love that. He took them as far as he could, but he was also giving them like a tour because he was so <laughs> excited to meet Joan Wilder. Another like kind of comedic element was him being like, sorry, I can't take you any further. Like I'm wanted. And I'm a wanted man. Everywhere. Yeah, I can't go in that village. That was for sure one of my favorite parts. The whole cast was great. Like we said, Danny DeVito was hilarious. Michael Douglas. I feel like I haven't really seen much Michael Douglas. As crazy as it sounds, the Michael Douglas that I know primarily would be like an Ant-Man. Like, yeah, more I got, current. I must have seen something, but I can't think off the top of my head. So this might be one of the only things that I've seen with Michael Douglas that wasn't a Marvel movie. Yeah, like early Michael Douglas. So please, like what's other Michael Douglas movies that we should watch? I gotta look and see. Okay, so I don't think I've actually seen a Michael Douglas film either. But we did just look and there's gotta be at least three or four that have been like right on the border of us about to watch them. Like we will likely get to them at some point. Yeah, the game was on there. Falling Down is currently on a poll. Basic Instinct, there, there was, was a handful. There was a handful on there that we have heard of and we have not seen yet. So that's exciting to know that there's like fresh stuff that we can check out with Michael Douglas. Mm -hmm. Cause he was a lot of fun. He kind of played that like, I guess 
slimy romantic guy, but not really slimy. I don't know, because he also had bad intentions until yeah. like the last like five minutes of the movie. He definitely didn't really seem like he was reciprocating. It seemed like it was all for the treasure map Yeah. more than anything, but clearly he came around. Yeah. I also was a big fan of Gloria, who was the publisher. Gloria was great. Two and a half men. I believe that's the mom. Yes. Yeah. No, she was awesome. I feel like she was just like a hype woman for Joan. Yeah. And she had her best interests at heart. She was trying to find her a man in those like random <laughs> bars or restaurants. Bar restaurant. whatever, yeah. yeah. And then she loved her book at the end. Yeah. So she was a small character, but I liked her a lot. Kathleen Turner was also excellent. She played a great damsel out of her element type of character or something. Yeah, and then but when it came down to it, she wasn't a damsel. She was able to do it on her own. No, not at all. I was just about to say, it's like they made her seem like someone who's going to be like complaining the entire way. I don't know. Yeah. It, it kind of gave that vibe of like, oh, she's going to be like, oh, I'm so sick or I need to sit down. Or, she was essentially immediately ready to rock and roll. Yes. Like from the get go, crossing the bridge by herself. Yep. The final climax of the movie, it's not like Jack scales the side and saves her. Like she sets the dude on fire, hits him with the stump, burns his face with the cigar and like tricks him to fall into a vat full of uh, snappers or whatever. Yeah. She killed it. Killed him. <laughs> she killed it killing him. <laughs> yeah, she was she was a badass from yeah. the, the very beginning. Yeah, so I liked that. That was she was awesome. And I feel like her and Jack were so cute. So I was like bummed thinking that he's just using her. Yeah, he did use her for quite the majority of the movie. But then he fell for her and he came back with his boat, which is also hilarious to see. Of course, I feel like a total rom com thing for something so out of the blue to be like the most romantic thing. So just having this giant sailboat in the middle of New York City. Right. Yeah, it's definitely an, an extravagant ending. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad he found that crocodile to get the gem or else it would have been a real shit ending for Joan for sure. <laughs> they just never saw each other Yeah, again. they never saw each other or he got eaten by it or something like that. But it all worked out for them in the end and Elaine got saved. No idea what happened to uh, Ralph and his cousin, but that was hilarious how the cousin, they're like right, <laughs> they're only like a couple hundred feet away from they each other. They did not need to take off without him. <laughs> no, I'll send it right back, when? Soon! <laughs> yeah, like he just totally screwed him over and then the cops are coming. Yeah, that way, no that way! <laughs> Zola was a great villain. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I was thinking like it was gonna take some turn in the beginning and it was like, oh, like maybe he's, he's trying to save her and protect her from not getting there, even though he very clearly had a villainous vibe to him. I mean, he started the movie by killing an innocent janitor. <laughs> True, I should have I should have started there and known. But I don't know, I was thinking like, oh, maybe there's something, but I, then I was like, wait, isn't Michael Douglas the mean? Yeah, I had a small feeling too, where it was gonna be like, he was responsible for keeping it the treasure a secret or something you know like i feel like there's some movies that do that where they're like oh i'm not really the bad guy you guys are just like meddling with stuff that's supposed to be hidden yeah especially when they're like ancient artifacts and Ex things like that exactly yeah. so I, I for a moment i was like maybe that's gonna be like a reveal but he just kept trying to kill them so i'm like no. okay i don't think we're going in no. that direction yeah just super corrupt maybe he was a cop he had I, like a he, military he probably yeah i think yeah. he was military or whatever they said but it's Colombia, so, oh well. That was another thing too. Like I said in the intro, I'm mostly Colombian. My mom was born there. We've been there. I've been there half a dozen or more times. To think that I could have been in the same spot that like Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner were filming a movie. Yeah. So it was really cool to have a movie set in Colombia, like going through the jungle and the villages and stuff. I mean, nine times out of 10, whenever Colombia is in like entertainment or like media, it's always like villainous, drug related. So yeah, I mean, that was still pretty spot on villainous <laughs> drug related, but regardless, it was cool to kind of see it represented so epically as the setting for the movie. Yeah, and maybe, you know, next time we're down, we can go look for some treasure. Yeah, maybe there's actually some like spots. I mean, we've done similar things when we go other places that we travel to, we're like, oh, this is where uh, Game of Thrones had a waterfall or something like that. Yeah. So we've done that before. So I'm sure we'll go back to Colombia at some point. We've actually never been to Cartagena. No, we haven't. That's like one of the few places we have 
haven't been to. So it would be cool to kind of see exactly where they were there to go check out those spots. I mean, I guess they weren't even, for a good portion, they weren't in Cartagena. No, no. They, they went were, the wrong way. They were not. But yeah, no, this was definitely a fun movie. The adventure was top notch. The setting was awesome. The characters were fun. And it ended on a nice romantic note. So it really just checks all of the boxes. This was really enjoyable. A lot of fun. I would love to see more Kathleen Turner. So let us know some recommendations for her as well. Yeah, she looks so familiar. We tried to look at it and nothing really like clicked as something that we've seen. No, it did look like she was maybe the voice of Jessica Rabbit in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which I've seen and you haven't. I have not seen that. But it's been so long since I've seen it that it, her voice honestly didn't even like as recognizable to me. Also, I saw a movie like recently within the past few years on a plane. It starred Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum, I think. Okay, okay, yeah. I and, think I saw that too on maybe and, on the plane. And she's an author. A, I believe she's a romance author and goes on this adventure. So I'm like, oh shit, that was just kind of like a remake slash ripoff of Romance in the Stone. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? Yes. It's not the same. No. But it is. A, it's similar. It's an author, yeah. a female romance author having an adventure in the jungle. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. So I've seen like the copycat before the original. Now I see this, I can see where that inspiration most likely came from. Yeah, definitely not the same, but it, it, it does have a very similar premise at least. Yeah, but that movie was fun too, but this one was great. I had a lot of fun with this. This has been, like we said, recommended since pretty much we started the channel. Yeah. So I'm glad we finally got to it. Obviously this also went a Patreon poll, but this was fantastic. For a rom-com movie, it's hard to complain because it was a lot of fun. Rom-com adventure. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.